hi friends today i'm going to show you how do you estimate the cost of your cloud in my previous video i have shown you the tools on aws azure and gcp so every cloud provider has their own cloud estimation tools i just showed you where you can estimate and how you can export those estimation into the excel sheet if you have not yet gone through this video please go through that before you follow this current video as we all know one of the important aspect for cloud journey and as well as a cloud solution architect is estimation it's very critical to know the facts behind the estimation and the consideration behind the estimation especially when you are supporting multiple customers you may need to work so frequently about on the estimation let me first show you the examples what i have received from my vendors so when i asked my vendors to provide the estimation based on the components what we are using for the various projects they simply gave us this if you see we asked for the app service azure sql database storage accounts virtual mission azure cosmos they simply have gone to the tool and uh, placed that and based on the estimation whatever it is given they exported and provided to us do you think this is the right way of doing it let us see the other estimation is provided by the other vendor they did they did some massaging on the data but nothing much valuable in this to understand or uh, the considerations are also missing so whatever we asked like azure vm app service sql server or azure function blob storage are considered but additional addition to that they have added one year and three years reservation cost so these are the two different examples provided by the vendors frankly speaking this is the ugliest way of providing the estimation so what is that it is missing in this estimations so think about like you are going to deploy your application from dev to the production and you want to hand over to your vendor for the maintenance and uh, maintenance of your uh, cloud at the same time all the operations so when you are handing over you have to be very careful about the very various components of involved in your production environments in your dev qa staging these components are not that important hence you might be using the plain components or plain architecture without having the additional considerations but when you are moving that to the production you will have lot of consideration let us go to our architecture so this is a simple architecture ias based architecture so when you are deploying your application to your production you you may have uh, vms or you may have app services here and you may have multiple vms or multiple app services in the different regions to support your high availability because the availability of uh, or the sla of your vm our app services are low like 99 39s or 49s but if you want to increase that sla to the finance or 69s you will definitely need to re create the redundancy of the servers in the different regions or different zones so as you are moving to the production you need to have that consideration at the same time you will use load balancer you will use application gateway on top of the application gateway you may want to enable some web application firewall for the additional security you may need to enable cdn and dns as well at the same time in your backends we don't know what type of load you are getting or how many transaction will happen or run on your database so you need to consider that as well at the same time which doesn't fall under your architecture maybe in your dev qa environment those are like security centers azure monitoring the same way alerts active directory key vault what not like there are plenty of components which you may not require in your dev environment but you need that 
in your production environment. So while you are calculating, you need to go to the granular level to consider all these components to calculate the cost. Not just that, you also need to check what is the level of Azure DevOps is being used in your production. Because in your DevQA, your DevOps could be just only to support your pipelines for the dev to QA, QA to maybe staging environments. But do you need additional ARM scripting or and whether you need blue green deployment or there are six de uh, deployment types. So what type of deployment uh, model you may need to follow for the production. So all those things are need to be costed at least even by just keeping the Azure DevOps aside, you need to consider all the additional components while you are estimating. So what you need to do is like create a, a full fledged template. I'm just showing the small example what uh, I have used for one of the early projects. So you define what firewalls you will need, IAM, logging, monitoring, along with what are the components you will need for your application production environment, along with your VMs, app services, everything, and just calculate that. If you want, you can share to me. I can definitely review it and give you my comments whether that is really up to the mark or up to the standard. Thanks for watching my video.